Hi aspirants, if you want to truly understand about the history of development of cryogenic engines in India, you must know a little bit about missile technology control regime which is shortly known as MTCR. See MTCR seeks to limit the proliferation of missiles and missile technologies. Currently India is a member of MTCR, but this was not the case in early 1990s. So, in 1991 an agreement was signed between India and Russia for technology transfer to India. So, based on this agreement, the Russian developed cryogenic engine KVD-1 can also be built indigenously in India. But in 1993, the US imposed sanctions on ISRO saying that the agreement between ISRO and Russia violated MTCR. So, this forced India to develop cryogenic technology indigenously. So, in this short video, we will learn about what is cryogenic technology. Do you guys remember about the little science experiment that we used to do in our school days? When we mix sulfuric acid with a metal like zinc or iron, a gas is released. And when you bring a burning match or a candle near the gas, you can hear a loud pop sound. The gas that is emitted in this reaction is hydrogen. And the pop sound that you hear is because hydrogen is combustible. And this combustible property of hydrogen is used in the cryogenic engine. See, the cryogenic engine uses the liquid hydrogen as propellant and liquid oxygen as oxidizer. Know that oxygen liquefies at 183 degree centigrade while hydrogen exists in liquid form below 253 degree centigrade. Since these engines deal with various operations at such low temperatures, they are called cryogenic engines. This is because cryogenic is the science of extremely low temperatures. Although the operation of the engine is very complex, let me explain to you a highly simplified version of the working. Look at this schematic diagram. In the blue tank, liquid hydrogen is stored and in the cyan tank, liquid oxygen is stored and these two mix in the combustion chamber where combustion takes place. In the combustion chamber, hydrogen reacts explosively with oxygen to produce water vapor and energy and this hydrogen oxygen reaction generates tremendous heat causing the water vapor to expand and exit the engine nozzles at a speed of 10,000 miles per hour. So, this fast moving steam creates the thrust that propels the rocket from earth according to Newton's third law. One of the biggest advantages of the cryogenic engine is it is eco-friendly. This is because as we saw the exhaust from the cryogenic engine is mainly water vapor. So, this is all about working of cryogenic engines and its associated technology. Now, let us see some points about C20 cryogenic engine of ISRO. C20 is an indigenously developed cryogenic engine. The C20 cryogenic engine is the one that powers the launch vehicle Mark 3. We shortly call this as LMV3. The LMV3 has three stages. There is the solid first stage, a liquid second stage and a cryogenic third stage. So, the C20 cryogenic engine is used in the upper stage of LMV MK3. This engine also uses liquid hydrogen as fuel and liquid oxygen as oxidizer. I hope now you could able to understand what is cryogenic technology. See, these types of science and technology topics are very important for your preliminary exam. To learn more topics like this, watch Hindu News Analysis of Shankaraya's Academy regularly. Thank you for listening.